guys, what's going on? Today I am here with Captain Weston from Towboat US and today we are going to show you how to properly tie your boat up in a dock slip. Now I did a video similar to this a couple years ago with my dad, but we did it at a regular fixed dock. Now today we are doing it in a dock slip. It is really important to know how to properly tie your boat up at the dock for many reasons, including you don't wanna damage your own boat, or you don't wanna damage someone else's boat. I wanna give a big thank you to Tobo for helping me with this video. If you guys don't know, they have 24 seven, 365 tow insurance, as well as regular boat insurance. So if you guys wanna find out more information about that, you can check out all their information, link down in the description. Now let's get to the video. Okay, so a couple things to think about while you're watching this video. We are in South Florida, more specifically Lighthouse Point. We have on average a two to four foot tide. There are places where you have 12 foot tides, even 20 foot tides. So think about that as you're watching this video, as well as every dock is different, every boat is different. So you may have to modify what you're gonna see to fit your situation. So, you ready? Yeah. Let's get to it. All right guys, this is one of our tow boats here. This is a 31 foot uh, JC. The setup that we use is two bow lines, a spring line and two stern lines. All right, so this is the basic setup that we use for the bow lines. You know, the one is going to the piling and the other one is going to the dock. How this boat is, is it's kind of cheated towards the dock a little bit. So that way, you know, if we were in the middle of the slip, it'd be too hard to get on and off the boat. So we cheat our uh, starboard line a little bit. That way we're a little bit closer here and we're able to get uh, on the dock easy you know, for getting on and off. All right, so how we do our starboard bow line here is uh, we just take in the eye, the eye splice right of your line. We're gonna pass it through and we're gonna put it right through onto the piling. That way it's choked to the piling. Push back over here. So that way I'm gonna cinch it down to the piling. And then I'm gonna come right here to our bit. I'm gonna make it off a little bit, a little bit of slack, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tie it off to the bit. All right, so for our uh, port bow line here, basically we just have an eye splice in it. We're just gonna loop it right over our bit for this application, uh, and then we're gonna come back over here to the dock. And this line is already taped off for us, but in this application, we're coming into the bottom end of the tide. So our line's gonna be pretty tight. So that way when the tide comes back up, we'll have plenty of slack. All right guys, so for the spring line, this one's a little different because the spring line will actually uh, show you how far back you're gonna go in the slip. So we'll start by obviously getting it on the cleat here. We'll go through the eye of the cleat. We'll come over here, back to the dock here. And see back there, the boat's a little too close to the, to the, uh, the sea wall there. So I can come over here, tighten up on it a little bit. Once my lines are tight back there, that lets me know how far forward I wanna go. All right, so we'll start with our starboard stern line here. We'll go through the chalk. And the same thing as our spring line, we're gonna go around the eyes of the cleat. And like, like the spring line, we're coming into the bottom end of the tide, so we want these lines a little tight. We can leave this one a little loose at first because we gotta put the port uh, stern line on as well. So we'll go ahead and make it off about right here. So same thing as our starboard line. We're gonna go through the chalk, around the eye of the cleat. So 
the reason why we cross these lines that way you have equal tension uh, pulling away from the dock and pulling uh, towards the dock and that way the boat can float up and down with the tide and not have to worry about hanging from the lines. So for that port line that we just did, we can actually have that one a little bit tighter than our starboard line to keep the boat away from the dock a little bit. That way when boats are coming by, it's not banging up against the dock. You know, luckily we have some fenders, but you still want it to be banging up against the dock all day long. Now you have the boat tied up so that it's not going too far forward or too far back so that it's not hitting the dock here or hitting the dock there. Yeah, yeah. so guys, once you get it all tied up, you can alter your lines a little bit. So like our, you know, if our spring line is too tight, the boat's gonna be too far forward in the slip, we can loosen it up. If it's too close to the dock on the, on the stern, we can loosen our line up, get it away from the dock, even up on the bow. It's all about, you know, slight little, you know, details in the line, you know, give some line, pull some line, it's all it's all you know different boat variant on the slip all right so if you guys are looking you know which which line should i get for my dock lines here's an example this is a braided nylon line uh it's real soft it's got a lot of stretch to it uh it's a little bit more pricey the other line that we use is this is a three strand nylon line this is a little bit cheaper you can buy it on a whole a spool and you can make the lines yourself or you can buy them already cut up with an eye splice on it. All right guys, so you just saw how to properly tie your boat up in a slip. Now let's say you keep your boat at a dock slip all the time. What you wanna do if you're leaving the dock, let's say you're going fishing, you're going to get gas, whatever you're doing, leave these dock lines on the dock. You're gonna just take them off the cleats, leave the lines on the dock. You don't wanna have to re redo this setup every time you come back to the dock. If you're going somewhere where you need different lines, like let's say you're going to get gas and you want to bring lines with you, leave these ones on the dock and get yourself another set of lines so you don't have to redo your setup every single time. Guys, so we just went through that process of tying up the boat. You know, you don't want to go through that every time. So, you know, if you only have these dock lines, what you can do is you can put a piece of tape right here as a preset marker to where the line was. So that way, if you want to take these lines, you know, you're going on a trip somewhere, you come back, everything's all set. That way you don't have to go through and worry about at low tides, my boat gonna be hanging from the lines. Another thing, like I had said before, every dock is a little different, every boat is a little different. You might only have a finger length dock that comes out that's only half the size of your boat. You're gonna have to learn how to adjust your lines to fit that type of dock. Almost always the rule of thumb, you want two stern lines to keep yourself from moving in the slip. You want two bow lines to keep yourself in the center of the slip or closer to the dock, whatever fits yourself better. And then you want your spring lines. If you need two spring lines to keep yourself from going too far forward or too far back, that's what your spring lines are for. Hey, They're gonna yeah. keep you, your spring lines are gonna keep you in the center of your slip. The stern right. lines are gonna keep you from moving sideways as well as those bow lines are gonna keep you from moving sideways. So you need to figure out all of your lines perfectly so you're not getting your boat under the dock at all because that's what's going to damage your boat possibly even sink it and you don't want that to happen so always be prepared all right guys so what you can do that, uh, that'll help you if you're a little hesitant about tying the boat up so you can come at low tide right so low tide the bottom of the tide when we tie our lines up they should have some tension on them if you guys are tying up at the bottom of the tide and your line is super loose at high tide there's going to be way too much slack in the line and the boat's going to be moving all around in the slip all right so usually the way a slip is is you have a finger length dock on one side you usually have a piling in the center and then another finger length dock on the other side and they're usually made to have two boats in each slip so you have one boat on one side one boat on the other side so if you tie your boat improperly you have the chance of hitting the boat next to you so as you see, you have two boats here, one piling in the center, finger length dock on this side, finger length dock on the other side. All right guys, so I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, comment down below and I will answer your questions. Another huge thank you to Captain Weston as well as Towboat US for helping me out with this video. If you guys are interested in anything that they offer, make sure you check out the link in the description for more information on Towboat US. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.